What we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a lesson based on Hokusai's Red Fuji. What we have is some um, crayons, we have some watercolor, and the colors that I have are a reddish orange, green, and white. So, first what you're gonna do is you're gonna end up drawing the mountain, which is just a huge triangle, and Hokusai actually did 36 views of Mount Fuji, but the one that we're going based on is an up-close view that's huge. Okay? So what I did was just have the kids draw a red triangle and then you're actually going to take white and while they might complain about not being able to see the white while they're coloring, once you do the watercolor over it, it's really fun for them because all of a sudden the white pops out. So you just want them to do these curving connected lines from coming from the top almost like lava or veins and they do want to color hard when they're using the white okay and so another thing that we want to do is we want to make clouds in the sky which you won't be able to see very well you want to make sure that they really color in the clouds too and they want to put a lot and I'm just using big loops that I'm filling in Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm just going to put a little bit more right here. What you can actually do too is just kind of color in right here towards the top. And actually the bottom of his picture had a lot of green and black that went along here. So I'm just going to put little green dots going, flowing. <laughs> All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our watercolor, our, our water, and we're just going to brush it over the mountain so that it's prepping the paper for the watercolor. Actually, you can just brush it all over the whole thing. And then when you're ready, you're going to paint the sky blue. Just like that. And you can start to see the white clouds pop out. The more watercolor that you have on your brush, with less water, the brighter it will be. So if you want brighter colors, use less water. Okay. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the mountain. And you can see my white lines popping out, actually. And then at the end, at the bottom of his picture, he actually had like a, a dark greenish black. So if you want, you can add that to the, to the bottom as well. And it just kind of sweeps across the bottom. I'm just going to add a little bit darker up here. So I like brighter colors. And make it a little bit darker at the bottom right here. And there you go.